this is the day the Lord has made and we have to rejoice in this I've lost count the number of years that we've not played juvenile football but the waiting is finally over it is in this spirit that I welcome all of you to the launch of the juvenile football season it's been a long wait a period where we had to engage a period that we had to meet as a subcommittee of the FA a period that we had to engage uh, the government tax force on, on COVID-19 and I'm happy that finally we are able to roll out the season that will start a new process of producing more of the Lyle Kingstons, more of the Abedi Peles, more of the Jordan Ayus, more of, not more of the Keto Krakus. <laughs> We've got number one. <laughs> so after a long wait, the juvenile football makes a strong return today to the FA's portfolio of football products. Indeed, it has arrived at a crucial point in the grand scheme of reforms that the FA has rolled out in the overhaul of the industry in the last few months. Indeed, many of you have yearned for juvenile football to come back and today we are here to witness the rebirth of our cherished sport. In the past, our star power was truly legendary as juvenile soccer, also known as Coles football, was the breeding grounds for churning out the likes of, like I said, Michael Asian, the Samoans, Lai Kingstons, the Gaus, etc., etc. They were all products of what we used to call the Colts football system. Today's event signifies the completion of a series of a series of interventions aimed directly at a national strengthening of our football. The many interventions that the FA has introduced include new policies, technical conditioning strategies for the game, player and team stroke, club strengthening, and the best, or perhaps the last being the grassroots development. From today, all stakeholders in the football industry need to place more premium on youth football or youth development because it is at this stage that our young boys and girls learn how to be disciplined, learn all the basics of the trade, gain a sense of affinity for their community and most importantly for our national teams. The National Juvenile Committee, the NJC, has done a lot of work in reconstituting the juvenile football competitions which includes, like I said earlier, new regulations, the adoption of game centers to ensure that our kids play on good pitches across the country and in saying this let me say kudos to the rfas for a yeoman's job <laughs> our preparations for this season also commenced with the distribution of footballs to our rfas across the country the fa if you remember had already promised six thousand balls to each to to the to the regions and some of the balls have already gone out to their to, to, to your good selves.